Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabree Church of Christ midweek lesson for May the 18th, 2022. Hope you're having a good day and just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes and uh, you ever think about our eternal home? You know, heaven is more than than an idea. It It is a real place of healing, of restoration, and unimaginable joy. Just tremendous joy. If you have your Bibles open to John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6, and it says there, Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. If my father's house are many dwelling places, if it were not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How do we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no one comes to the father, but through me. When Jesus told his disciples, he was going away. He promised to return and take them to his father's house where he had prepared a place for them. This confirms that heaven is a real place, not some eternal cloud where we play harps. We tend to think of anything heavenly as less tangible than earth. But scripture suggests the opposite. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 10 tells us that by faith, Abraham was looking for the city which has foundations were architect, what the art, whose architect and builder is God. And Revelations chapter 21, verses 10 through 27, describes the city called the New Jerusalem. In great detail, unlike earth, the kingdom of heaven cannot be shaken. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 27 through 28, it exists forever and we will be worshiping and serving the Lord there. As Christians, we know our citizenship is in heaven. When we die, our spirits immediately go there. Second Corinthians chapter five and verse eight says, we are of good, be, we are of good courage, I say and prefer rather to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord into the presence of the Lord, awaiting the immortal body, will be given a, at Christ's return. That new body will be perfectly suited for heaven and free from the temptations, and trials, and headaches, and pain, and death that make life on earth so wearying. There will be rest, not from activity and fulfilling work, but from the consequences of sin that plague us here. I believe the joy we'll experience when we finally see our Savior face to face. Brethren, to see him face to face, I believe that that joy that we will see is beyond our imagination. Nothing that we could possibly dream of and think of, but that joy will be magnificent. Brethren, if you really think about it, to live a Christian life is a great way to live. It's a great way to live for your family, for your friends, makes you a person that others are attracted to. And then to know that we will live forever and to be able to be in heaven and be face to face with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died on the cross for us. How magnificent is that? And how magnificent the joy will be. 
something just to think about and I think it encourages us to strive harder to live Christian lives and to be pleasing unto God and to glorify his name. Just something to think about for the rest of the week. And I greatly appreciate your tuning in to our lessons. We hope and pray that you're sharing with, with your loved ones and friends and neighbors and helping us spread the gospel of Christ. And as always, we would love to have you come visit with us at the Seabury Church of Christ, our Sunday school Study begins at 9.30 a.m. each and every Sunday morning, and our worship service follows at 10.30 a.m. If you can, please come and visit with us. You'd be our honored guest. We, we would love to meet you and, and get to know you. And if there's anything that we can do for you, if you'd like to study God's Word or, or if you have some concerns that you think that, that possibly the Seabury Church could help you with, if we can, we would love to do that. You can reach us at 270-823-2335. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. It means a lot to us. We hope and pray that you have a great rest of the week and may God bless you.